I recently picked up this little smart weather cube on AliExpress. It's about $15 shipped to the USA. Uh, it's really cute. It's an NTP clock, so it connects to your Wi-Fi network. So the clock is extremely accurate. It has a very nice web interface to change the settings of this clock. It gets its weather from the Open Weather Map API calls. You can also change the API key so you can sign up for your own free weather service on that website and use your own API key to get updated weather. It shows a min and a max temperature for the day. It has the date, the day of the week, and you can see the text underneath the uh, city is changing to various different options it shows. It shows what direction the wind is, um, miles per hour. There's a lot of nice information on this small screen. It's about one and a quarter inches wide, about an inch and a half tall. It uses a USB-C connection to power it. Uh, it doesn't weigh anything. It's actually very light. And that's the only problem with it is it, it because it doesn't weigh anything, the USB cable actually fights it. And it's hard to position it the way you want it on your desk because the cable will tend to push it in a certain direction. So you might want to find a very lightweight cable that won't fight it that much. Overall, I really like it. What's really neat is in the bottom right corner right now, you can see that globe spinning around. That's an animated GIF. And on the web interface, you can change that GIF. You don't have to use the ones they include. And they have a tool on the web interface to convert these animated GIFs so that they're compatible with this clock. It's pretty, pretty flexible, pretty cool. To get the clock set up, you do need some sort of a Wi-Fi device, either a smartphone, a laptop, or a tablet. And it goes into something called an access point mode, where it advertises an SSID. You select the SSID from your, your phone by pulling down the Wi-Fi uh, SSIDs. Select it, and then you program in the password for your router, and that's it. You reboot it, and now it's on the network, and it will automatically update the weather and the time. I will show the web interface next so you can see the kind of options this thing offers. The web configuration tool that's used to configure the Smart Weather Clock Cube you would just go to the IP address that the clock shows you on the on the display that it's getting from your DHCP server. You have an option here to convert GIFs. So if you don't want to use one of the included GIFs, they have a Google Drive link that they supply. Then you would use this tool to convert your GIF. I did not try this tool, so I never don't have any experience how well it works. Um, there's options here for 12, 24-hour clock. The time format's a typo. They mean the date format. But you can change the date format to uh, the most popular formats here. The city setting, this is for your weather. This is important to understand. It uses a site called openweathermap.org. This is a free service. They have premium versions also. The free service works great with something like this. The only kink is... It's city, comma, the country code, not city, comma, the state. Well, if you live in a city that exists in more than one state, how would you configure it? What you would do is you would go to openweathermap.org, which is over here. And I already typed in a URL here. I typed in a Red Bank, comma, United States, and we'll do it again. Red Bank exists in several cities. You would pick the one that is your city. We'll take the last one here. Go back up to the URL and see where it shows this 5570062. You would take that number 
copy paste it go back to smart weather and instead of Somerville comment USA you would paste in that number into that field that will then precisely use the city that you live in so that's the way you would get around the, uh, the city comma state if you had a duplicate there's controls for the brightness, there's color selects here, there's your Wi-Fi settings for your router, and then going further down is the weather map API. If you want, they include a weather map API key in here. I suspect if they start selling a lot of these things, that API key could go over its budget for the free account. What you want to do is sign up for your own account. You'll get your own free API key, and then you can plug that into this configuration tool. Because they only allow you to poll so many a day. And it's possible if they sell these things by the hundreds or the thousands, it could end up closing that API key that they give you. So I would recommend just signing up for a free one. So I'll put the AliExpress link in the YouTube description where I got the clock from. Uh, Amazon also sells it. It's about twice the price there. And just a note, there's two different versions of the clock being sold. It's the same hardware, but the software is different. Um, I'm not sure of all the differences, but they definitely look different, especially the web interface. But overall, I think it's a cool little widget for 15, 15 or so dollars.